At the southern edge of Africa lies a gateway to untold opportunity, a diverse land of legends and pioneers, where conquered and untamed frontiers set the stage for an ever unfolding story. This is the Eastern Cape, set along 800 kilometers of South Africa's sunniest coastline. The Eastern Cape is the country's second largest and most diverse province, alive with possibility. Strategically positioned at a junction of natural, historic and economic frontiers, the Eastern Cape offers an unparalleled tourism, investment, cultural, sport and lifestyle destination, hosted by warm and welcoming people as colorful as their surroundings. The Eastern Cape is blessed with a warm year-round climate, boasting more than 300 sunshine days annually and drawing thousands of sun seekers to our temperate waters and blue flag beaches. The province offers nine tourism routes to guide visitors through its unique offerings, from breathtaking natural wonders to intriguing man-made spectacles. The Eastern Cape's two major cities of Nelson Mandela Bay and East London provide the ideal home base with all the comforts of first world cosmopolitan living while encounters with untamed nature wait right on your doorstep. Our reserves, parks and lodges encompass a tremendous range of scenery, climates, bird life and game, including the Big Seven. Nelson Mandela Bay, the southernmost city in Africa, also earns its title as water sport capital of the continent, offering a full package of family fun, thrills for wave riders and profound encounters of a deeper variety. Wild thrills continue up the wild coast, one of the Eastern Cape's best kept secrets, boasting some of the country's best fishing sites and miles of pristine secluded coastline including the famed hole in the wall. And when it's time to get back to the comfort zone, a full spectrum of quality accommodation caters to every whim and budget, from five-star hotels and game lodges to scenic self-catering units. The Eastern Cape truly offers all the best tastes of South Africa on one platter, not least in the form of world-class cuisine. And it can always be turned into dinner and a show whether the preference is a night on the town or an authentic cultural experience with a good helping of African hospitality. The region's wealth of natural and cultural history is showcased in its unique architecture, memorials and museums, while the popular Grahamstown National Arts Festival treats huge crowds to an unforgettable program every year. The Eastern Cape is proving itself as a new frontier where a highly developed first world economy meets the potential of an emerging economy to create a dynamic investment environment. As the only province with two industrial development zones and two harbors, as well as the new Woha Deepwater Port, the Eastern Cape is perfectly positioned as the gateway to Africa and the world. The provincial hub is equidistant from South Africa's three biggest cities and efficient access to national and global markets is afforded by world-class telecommunications, technology and infrastructure. The Kuha and East London IDZs are both growing rapidly, supporting South Africa's strong performance as one of the world's fastest growing exporters. With automotive manufacturing in the front line, the province is home to the automotive big four and supplies half the country's passenger vehicles with 51% of motor exports originating here. Host to 14.8 million hectares of farmland, boasting some of the richest soils in the country, the Eastern Cape is South Africa's leading livestock and agri-processing province, with excellent opportunities in meat, leather and wool processing. The province produces a quarter of the nation's milk and 65% of the world's mohair supplies, also supporting strong textiles and clothing industries. Our warm, temperate to subtropical climate favors an extensive range of crops, most notably 
The Eastern Cape is the world's second largest producer of chicory and South Africa's second largest citrus provider. Exciting new developments are emerging in the capital goods, petrochemical and renewable energy sectors. The Eastern Cape is home to some of the best schools, research and training institutes in the country, including Rhodes University, Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University, Walter Sisulu University and Fort Hare, where many great South African leaders were nurtured, including former President Nelson Mandela. With excellent private health care facilities, affordable quality accommodation and first-rate shopping and sporting facilities, the Eastern Cape leaves little to be desired as a prime location in which to live, work, invest and play. The Eastern Cape is a province of sports lovers and legends. It has produced the likes of world champion boxer Vuyani Bungu, cricketing heroes Makai Antini, Mark Bauscher, Tony Grich, Hilton Ackerman and Graham Pollock, and rugby's Brent Russell, Kobani Bobo and H.O. de Villiers. With its warm waves and favorable winds, the province prides itself as one of the world's top surfing destinations where the famed Jeffreys Bay is home to the perfect right-hand point break. Apart from the endless variety of water sports, dune sports and adrenaline sports that keep our locals and visitors on their toes, the Eastern Cape also boasts three of South Africa's top 10 golf courses, world-class soccer and rugby stadiums and some of the country's best training and development programs for up-and-coming athletes. It's the stuff legends are made of. The home of heroes. Some call the Eastern Cape the crucible of modern South African history and identity. With its rich cultural heritage, tracing back through centuries of conflict and courage, despair and success. Ancient rock paintings tell the stories of the original sand people hunter-gatherers who roamed the vast plains, later joined by Khoi pastoralists whose legacy lives on in place names like Kai Skama, Kai and Tsitsi Gama. The Eastern Cape prides itself as the birthplace of internationally renowned freedom fighters, among them Steve Beagle, Robert Sobukwe and Nelson Mandela who still makes himself at home on this soil. Evoked in our song, our dance, our art, our way of life. As we work together, play together, and celebrate Africa's humanity in the spirit of Ubuntu. We are warmth, optimism, hospitality. We are the people of the Eastern Cape. Come share our story. Cape.